Yo, what's going on guys? Koi here. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new update that just came to Divas of Creation. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. Uh, the brand new update was pretty big, but first I want to do some clarification to those who did watch the video on the duping situation. The duping situation is being fixed as we speak. The, the best part about that is that the I got full confirmation from the developers that said that it's going to be all under control and that they are making lots and lots of uh, lots and lots of changes to make sure that this duping situation and the market is completely fixed by the end of the band wave and uh, they're going to be opening up the specifically the support tag the support channels are going to be open again to make tickets on the 15th as of this moment you still can't make tickets because they've been so busy uh sorry about that for anybody who's like always been asking about any type of bugs or anything like that if you guys got any like you know issues with bugs right now then just like let other people know and they'll, they'll end up getting to it at some point uh freaking right now there's a major double exp event that's going down right now there's also a major code that just released right now that comes out with a few extra little health pots and stuff like that so that is very very cool uh, the other part is part two, which is the double EXP event that is going to be happening for 24 hours, which means that we are not going to end up going through the reset that a lot of people feared. Uh, they are letting us get double EXP. So right now is the perfect time to level up from level 20 to level 50 today. Some changes that they did make was Dex has been significantly buffed. Uh, so this allows you to build brand new uh, builds such as the Dex and Strength build for those who are super, super interested in that regard. If you guys have never made that before, then uh, you should try it out. I'm going to be showcasing it in my video today. The other part is the group heal skill on Celestial Staff has been buffed. Hence why I have not made a video on the Celestial Staff because that is or, or the Great Sword or Dagger or anything like that because those things are... You know, they all get buffed, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I have insider information. It's more along the lines of me just being unlucky. Sorry about that. Okay, so now let's kind of get into the video aspect of things now that we kind of, like, got all the exposition out of the way. Um, today we're going to be talking about just, like, all the buffs that did happen. If you guys do not know, I am running a Phoenix Feather Bow. So this is going to be a 230% uh, bow shot. And as you can see, against these mobs, uh, what I have 100% crit. Uh, down here, you can see I have 100% crit with three times damage. Uh, that's what 300% means in this game. A lot of people get this misconstrued. But this means 300% 300 uh, equals three times damage. I don't know if the developers expected anyone to go beyond that point, but I think 40 decks is pretty much the safe part or 35 depending on if you are running uh specifically right if you are running light build if you guys are not running light armor builds then y'all are not going to get the set bonus of decks uh plus 10 there's also the other one which is the uh zuby bonus which uh does give you decks plus 15 that is going to be the end game build for a lot of people that are kind of like you know light uh, who want all that crit and stuff like that since crit is been uh, has been like buffed and all that stuff this is beautiful uh, also you can see the two times exp is over here so you know use it while it's here and all that good stuff all right uh, let's see so let's go to the i think the best place to actually practice this is probably the catacombs yep essence of evolution of warlord and all that crazy stuff this should beam right through characters like the Warlord, characters like the Generals and stuff like that. Now, since that we're getting 100% crit, uh, now you're also going to be able to get 100% strength, 100% crit, and then whatever bonuses you get now, based off your armor, you could use with your armor as well. So, very, very cool. Uh, at the same time, you know, uh, the healing buff did just get buffed, so healer is going to be a lot more devastating than it was before. All the things that I knew that were wrong with healer are now being changed to be all right with healer, which is amazing. Making healer definitely, definitely a must-have whenever it comes down to magic users. 
So if you guys are not magic users, I suggest, uh, or if you guys are magic users, I suggest using a healing staff as soon as possible in order to get the most out of your class, uh, whether that be healing fire or healing ice. So that is totally up to you guys. Now let's go ahead and see how this damage kind of peels off whenever it comes down to skeleton soldiers. That is ridiculous damage. If I was using a legendary bow right now, We'd be doing some ridiculous damage right now. Let's go ahead and go a little further in. I'm thinking somewhere along the lines of fighting a air warlord and then kind of moving on from there. So let's kind of do that a little bit. As you can see, 400 and, you know, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. And then going through the shield is definitely not going to be a problem at all. Uh, your sadly skills still do not crit, but you know with crits being M1 based, this is also very nice. Uh, you know we are gonna talk about stuff like skill crits and stuff like that in the dagger video. I don't think that I really uh, that I'm ready for it yet because I still haven't been able to like really mess with it as of late. But dude, against these generals, man, I am eating right now. These are like end game mobs too. This is so light work. It's insane. just crazy it feels like i'm fighting the what are those dudes called i feels like i'm fighting like the mushroom dudes whenever you get green armor for the first time like that's how good this feels so yeah this is a major update absolutely major i do want to see if i could at least showcase a little bit of the healing i think do i still have my celestial staff on me i should because i'm doing a showcase on that pretty soon uh oh no i do not mean to drop it okay there we go so keep in mind, I have no healing stats, so this shouldn't do anything to me. Oh, 200? That's not too bad. What about this? Whoa. Okay, so let me take a little more damage as I do have, like, the speed buff and all that good stuff on me. Hang on. There we go. That's perfect. That's a good amount of damage right there. There we go. See, the best part about having really good M1s is that you get to save up on mana. A lot of people don't understand this, but saving up on mana is incredibly important for actually, you know, being very good at the game. You know, it's just very important. All right, let's go. Ready? Main heal. 370. That's not too bad. And I'm keep in mind, I have no stats. I have no stats in magic at all. Actually, I think I have negative stats in magic. Yeah, I have like three intelligence, literally three intelligence, and this, uh, this, these buffs are really showcasing the the major heals that you can get right now. Look at this. So I could literally just like run around with this, and then still get healing buffs. My bad. As you can see, then I could just go, just start running around. Indivisibility buff right there. Amazing. So, yeah, I think healing is definitely going to be very, very comp right now, especially if you're going to start, like, multi-classing. Like, hybrid classing is very, very hard in this game. Oh, let's see the spider damage. Oh, my lord, the spider damage. Oh, my lord, it's so good. Such good damage. And I'm not even, like, max strength right now. If I had max strength, I'd be peeling these dudes, like, peeling them right now. Absolutely destroying them right now. And with the nice little buffs that I can give myself, I'll just be chilling the entire time. No problem at all. And then just have... I don't even have to use bow skills. That's the best part. I could if I wanted to. See right there, poison. No problem at all. All right, there we go. All right, as you can see, no problems at all. Nice, got some gemstones, got some other stuff. Oh, Lord. Oh, so yes, this update is very calm. So if you guys have not used like any of these builds yet, do it now, because uh, this is gonna like speed up your progression by quite a lot. One sec, I'm trying not to die here. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy and peace out, dudes. One sec. Heal myself real quick. W. All right, peace.